We all know that today we have an immigration system that's out of date and badly broken. A system that's holding us back instead of helping us grow our economy and strengthen our middle class. We've got to bring our legal immigration system into the 21st century because it no longer reflects the realities of our time. For example, if you are a citizen, you shouldn't have to wait years before your family is able to join you in America. You shouldn't have to wait years. You shouldn't have to wait years. You know, complexity is not just a feature of how the world works and how bureaucracies work. Complexity is also used as a tactic in politics. Deliberate obf obfuscation, uh, making something seem more complicated than it is, can be done to political effect. Por ejemplo, the scare chart, right? A graphical representation of some issue that is made to look deliberately complex in order to scare you about that issue. This scare chart is called the organizational chart of the House Democrats Health Plan, otherwise known as Obamacare. This was put together by House Republicans back in the health reform debate days. Look how complicated, isn't it awful? Let's add more boxes and lines to make it seem even worse and more alienating. When that version apparently was not scary enough, House Republicans later put out a second draft. Look at this one, a second Obamacare scare chart with, I don't know, 50% more rationing zones or something. Be afraid. Here's another scare chart. Uh, this is America's strategy, supposedly, for winning the war in Afghanistan. Any questions? This chart was not originally created for scare purposes, I don't think, but it was circulated to have that political effect once it was dug up. These are scare charts. And pro-immigration reform groups have used this same scare chart tactic. Look right here, this, this shows a map of the current legal path to immigration in this country. This is how you legally become a U.S. citizen if you're not one already. And all of the little red stop signs that you see, those are all of the places in the process that you can get blocked from becoming a U.S. citizen through our legal immigration process. So employer not willing to file LC labor certification, sorry. Or I-140 denied, sorry. How about didn't respond to RFE in time, sorry. Or USCIS security checks denied, sorry. All, all of these different things and more can all lead you to the sorry. They can all lead you to the stop sign where you fail on your attempted journey through what is now the legal immigration system in the United States. There are also, if in this chart, all these little clocks embedded in some of the lines to show you places where even though you might be able to proceed from one step to the next, there is a clock there. There's a long wait time in between those two steps, even if you get to proceed. And of course, those little clocks start to add up as your life goes by you. So this is a freaking nightmare, right? To a certain extent, this too is a scare chart. This is be afraid of the complexity of this system. But you know what? This chart is actually also kind of true. And even if you try to not deliberately play up how, how, how complex and difficult this system is, even if you don't try to visually obfuscate the paths by which people immigrate to this country, even if you try to make it look not as complex looking as possible, but rather as clear as possible, it is still unbelievably impossible. The libertarian magazine Reason tried to map out the same system recently in a legitimately user-friendly way. They're not trying to obfuscate or seem more complicated. They're trying to seem more simple. Look how they've done it. There are uh, little cartoon characters. It is very well color-coded instead of color-coded in a way that's designed to upset you. You can follow each of these memorable little sort of appealing characters through the process in a way that is actually designed to help you understand. This is not designed to be visually intimidating, but it ends up being just as damning about the truth. Your employer is not willing to cough up 10 grand in legal fees? Sorry, you're out of luck. Are you the married adult child of a lawful permanent resident? Sorry, that means you don't qualify. It, it is hard to navigate our really tangled legal immigration system in a way that has predictable or rational or frankly defensible outcomes. And in any of the situations in which you are allowed to immigrate, this is the most damning thing of all. Look at the typical time that elapses for people who follow these specific paths in order to become a US citizen. Look at the times, seven years. 16 years, 20 years, 13 years, 28 years? 28 years is how long you can expect it to take? 28 years is how long it can take right now for people who are following the rules and doing it right and doing it legally? That's how long people can expect the system to take when the system works? 
today we have an immigration system that's out of date and badly broken. Yes, we do. Anything that takes 28 years to complete, yes, we do. The, the thing that you hear all the time now from people involved in this immigration policy fight in Washington is that whatever we come up with has to be tough but fair, tough but fair, tough but fair. How about tough and fair and efficient? A legal immigration process in this country exists for a reason. It exists because legal immigration is something we supposedly value as a country. It's something we allow. It is the basis, actually, for who we are as a country. And it is a process that our government is responsible for facilitating. And some of the legal paths for that process right now regularly take up to 28 years to complete. Not because you screwed up, but because you did everything right. The reason they say immigration reform has to be done in a comprehensive way rather than in a piecemeal a la carte fashion where you just pick one thing here or there to do. The reason it has to be comprehensive is in part because an a la carte solution would inevitably just mean trying to cram more people through this existing system. No, the system is broken. Not only do more people need to get through this system, but the system needs to disappear and be replaced by something that makes sense. That is not liberal, that is not conservative, that's something called good government. And if you do not believe me, ask somebody who has gone through it or who is trying to go through it. If you know anybody who has immigrated to this country in this generation, ask them. Ask them respectfully, but ask them. Ask around until you find somebody in your personal life who has gone through the system and ask them if it's broken. See what they say.